Welcome back, everyone, to the Pax Britannica Mod Parts of our informer host, Mr. I Lost and Hungry Lover, but uh, the Turing Project Progress Report. We received a new report from the Turing Thinker Project. It seems that while there have been some setbacks, Turing's program has seen some limited results through the combination of wired animal neural, neural tissue and electrical impulses. The project is now still nowhere near ready, but their prototype showed significant promise in mimicking organic neural tissues, interesting developments, and issues in the United Commonwealth. The United Commonwealth Administration has just sent an urgent report based on a supposed Southern Rebellion. While well, we received it minutes ago, our suspicions are being confronted by the minute. The UC will have some explaining to do, but for the time we must aid them in their war against the Free States Alliance. It is true shame that the British boys will be sent to die in a foreign land. Must are an exp expeditionary force, so. Uh, if we have to. Call everyone in, why not? Free States. You can't beat Richard Russell Jr., what's wrong with you? Bomb the crap out of them for now. I'm not gonna send you guys over. There's literally no point for us to do so. But we're doing all right. We just finished women's filler job department, and up next we are going to go ahead and do a shift toward service e economics. Eh, more simple is nice. Even though we should get some soon, but no, we're going to do this one next actually. Um, so if you're this again, please go ahead. Thank you. 100%, 100%. So I do still have low unity, even though we increased it even more. Uh, I guess we do. That sucks. And we're still demobilizing more. We'll get 5,000, 6,000 map, 1,000 weekly manpower for now. But uh, it's not, not going to be enough. So we should probably head up to a limited conscription at the very least. It is 1936. We are slowly approaching 1937 as well. We could probably use some better anti air, I suppose, too. Shall we? We shall. Um, export automation to the colonies. Ooh. Automation in the household, though. As auto automatic automatics become smaller and more compact through innovation, the role in our lives expand. The amount of automats used in English households has increased every year since the start of this decade, and it seems unlikely that the trend will stop. With more automats in the house, people have more time to either spend at home or work and enjoy with friends while the automats clean, cook, and care. That sounds great to us. Flipping 36. I'm going to go and grab that because we could probably honestly use that. Good. Standard infantry rival 1936 patterns. Very good. More to speed is also very, very, very good. Artillery and guns. So, deploy. Start training some of these divisions too. Land ships. Eh, we're not really going to use those this campaign. And it's okay. So, there's not much we can do about this one. Matters of the state. I don't think there's very much we can do either. And you guys just going to more than enough to work on down here. What are we missing here? A rubber? More synthetic, huh? So. Alright, sounds good to us. And in the meantime, the EIEC protests our decision. We've received a lengthy protest from the affiliates in the EIEC who significantly disagree with our decisions on how to handle the economic crisis. To further emphasize their displeasure, they've ordered a general slowdown on factory output for the holdings in Burton. Well, not a blatant threat, it's obviously they're displeased with us. You get over it. You always will. Weekly change, plus 0.5? Beautiful! And finally, we have smaller planes, thank god. Well, since we're going to do this anyways, we're going to go and grab cannons and stuff like that. So it's going to get a little bit more time for us to actually get all that stuff done. Let's bomb the crap out of them. A little bit of time for them to deploy, but that's all right. I uh, can increase how much damage we're doing. Beautiful. It's not a ton of air XP, but you know what? That's all right. It's a lot of dead. But that's okay with us. National Industries would be good too. Bug us, have a PP. Good air stuff, and we'll grab you. We'll grab you. Mega Corporate Fury. As if we really just care that much. No. We're just going to do this, start working on some of the stuff here. Special modules, armor plates are always pretty decent to grab. Self-sealing. 
It's not very great, but it's what we got. And war improved. Basic. Improved, improved, basic. What are these basics? Well, it'll be better than what we currently have. There you go. Very nice. South Falls. Can't wait till they actually get their own unique focus tree, too. Hold the wings. Come over here and then train. There you go. Not bad. Still no fuel, but we actually get a daily gain of 80 to 100, which is pretty decent overall. Alright. While well, robotics are blessed with their talent for hard labor under the searing sun, their designs remain far too bulky for any traditionally person-to-person -person activity. With so many people unemployed, unable to give the nation what it needs through their muscle, we're given the opportunity to reform our economy into a theoretical service economy. While well, our main priority is a service involving other people, from banking to education and from the genetic therapy to social care, service economics are the future. Oh, that's completed the focus forever in the egg shadow. Oh, well. But we're going to do this one. I did this one last time, so if you want to do this one, please go ahead. Which we'll do this one next for more weekly manpower. Which honestly, if we go down to zero, and we're still demobilizing, that's still not a terrible thing, I suppose. I have a 37, everybody. Oh, I have nothing here. Um. Mm, we're in battle plan. Mobile warfare. Well, we have a lot of infantry. Do these support Automex? Do they consider Automex tanks? They do. We don't have that many. Quadrupods? We have a few, but not a lot. I might just go with Spear Firepower on this one. For now. Yeah, let's go with that one for now. Uh oh. And yeah, there goes Wallonia. People killing each other in all sorts of places and export them. As the global economy catches up with our automatic revolution in Britain, some corners of the empire worry about their economic uh, potential in the face of a second European renaissance. Already, Commonwealth governments have petitioned the British government to relax its export laws surrounding its high-tech sector and promote their distribution of these next-gen automatons to the colonies. They argue that augmenting their economies with similar automatic labor may prove crucial to the imperial economy and commonwealth relations in the coming decades, for the, these territories do not wish to remain the impoverished economic periphery. So we're probably going to continue with the Workers' Union Party. Now that the WP have won the 1937 elections, and with coming troubles across the channel, we can stop fanning around and satiate tradition in this country. So I'm going to take out the gloves in the name of the British worker and destroy this capitalist rot in the working man's nation. Keeping the red flag flying here. Then raise the scarlet standard high. Beneath its folds will live and die. Through cowards, flinch, and snaders, uh, traitor sneer, keep the red flag, red flag flying here. The time's gone. The 1937 election is finally here, and with the dark clouds on the horizon, it's maybe the election which decides Britannia's soul for the better or worse. We shall see if the electorate shall decide to keep the current masters or replace them with a new political premiership. The Turing Project continues. See a new report from the Turing Thinker Project. They've received a new report. They've made a significant breakthrough by combining lab-grown tissues of a common octopus with electric, uh, electronic impulses, leading to a thinking device that can produce very limited punch card results. It seems that the unique neurological traits of a molluscoid organisms, where the brain is decentralized, are much better suited to being used as machine neurotransmitters. Still, there remains problems, and the device is still un too unwieldy and overheats too easily when provided higher-level equations. Many practical applications. I'll get one more final report. Nice. Are we still demobilizing? Well, we get a thousand weekly manpower for now. If we do this, we get six thousand weekly manpower, which is not bad, but that's enough for our, the nation. Probably, honestly, not. Um, naval stuff. Oh, we're done with naval stuff here. Cruiser design costs. Naval experience gain. It's not bad. Research speed. Honestly, I, I always like this one because it's always pretty good. Heavy ship cost. It's not bad too. Things can cost, get pretty costly, but naval XP is not terrible hard, terribly hard to get. Research speed is not bad though. Repair speed for only 15%. We're going to I usually never choose that one, but we're going to choose this one because we can. 
Drop tanks, electronics, experimental rockets, research. Yes. Heavy MGs are good. Oh, just survival kits. Nice. Intelligence service, so we're gonna do this anyways. So what are we missing here? Manpower? Yeah. This should really start adding up quite a bit. Um, power to be. Ooh, rapid remilitarization. So, war is coming, it's coming soon. We can only deny the fact that Britain can't, shall be hard pressed in this new world war, and uh, and the, the only way to counter this is to rapidly invest into defense industries and remilitarize Albion for the war to which is which is to come. The National Development Committee. The old British North, consisting of North England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, have slowly but surely moving from the powerhouse of Britain to the industrial waste of Britain. To counter this and to reinvigorate the country, we shall establish a National Development Committee under Ernest Bevan to invest and rebuild the British North, which provides jobs for the North, whilst improving our economic position on the world stage. Well, the spirit overcome. Total general equality. Support will from the decrease. Dramatically expand. Oh, that's not bad. Government department. The Whigs do not support us. They do not support us. They're neutral. So. Wartime uh, national unity government, huh? Just your parade, eh? Synthetics. The reactor rocket sites, dockyards, fuel silos. I can have one of those two because I can. Put all those first. Research speed's not bad, but still. So much we can balloon up our manpower first every week. Before we do anything else. Do we very low? It's just it's just low, so it doesn't really matter too much. And I'll do it anyways. We can use more support, right? That's right. We could. Orbit wars. I don't think it really matters too much. Three hundred. Can't do anything there. Engine parts. Real parts. So. Not super concerned about those, but at least you get one today. That's pretty nice. Dramatically expand education subsidies. Education is a key in which people climb out of the la climb the ladder of society. It is no surprise that the masses throughout history have been uneducated and that the only rich were educated, which granted them the ability to climb higher than they already were. To form a society into a meritocratic one, we shall invest more in education, provide more subsidies, so that the working man's child will soon have the same chances as business owners. Well, as soon as we get there. Uh, War Powers Act. Our motion in Parliament failed. Well, darn it. You know what? We'll go back because we didn't have enough support. So we're going to do that once before. But we're going to go and do this one, too. Um, oh. Export automatons to the country. Automaton crisis. Oh, well, we can't do that one, I guess. That's fine, whatever. Huh. I guess the next time we have to rush through all these, huh? Kind of sucks. Automation in the service of the nation. National Security Act. Oh. National Security Act, Rule of Britannia. Rule of Britannia. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Ah. 
It happened here. Oh, there's that one. Okay, so that's all under the MVP then. That's interesting. Now Security Act, Rule of Britannia. Rule of Britannia. And then our Security Act. Well, that kind of sucks. The tightening news. The British Minister of Foreign Affairs could not believe his ears when talking to his German colleague. The French and Russians had to shake hands upon a military alliance, yet the Germans far too calm about the whole affair. Not to be rude to you, but you are fully aware of the implications, so the British minister asked, handing to slight annoyance in his voice, the calm figure of the German minister did not help at all. As he sheepishly replied, I am, without any further elaboration. The British ministry is currently looking through a variety of possibilities in the near future, trying to listen to the advice that the German ministry has given according to their perspective on the situation, but not a single analysis ended up without at least the advice of a mobilizing part of the military. Tapping the papers on the table, the British ministers, uh, Swift rattling of facts did not seem to impress the German minister. Again, German minister calmly answered. The German Empire simply does not care or share the over-pessimistic and perhaps even militaristic view of the British Empire. And that seems to me to be the biggest obstacle at the moment. Perhaps it's the eternal siege mentality of the bureaucrats you employ or the German experience on the continents, but we are more worried about the potential problems that this may cause for the market operations in Russia, France, and the rest of Europe than continental peace somehow being threatened. If he could, the British minister would have snapped, but the diplomacy had to prevail, even if the Hun lost his eyesight. Or for the German perspective to a government then. So... As you can see, they're at war. I've sent uh, a few volunteers, but we'll see what happens, because we're just kind of here hanging out. Uh, I sent the automats, but, you know, we saw how well they do. Honestly, can we promote someone else? Promotion cost? I love it. Yeah, these guys are going to not do well. So, in the meantime, we're going to get get we're ready to go. To invade, hopefully. Oh, you know, we only had infantry, which is not great, but whatever. Uh, from, uh, let's go from here to there. I don't know if we'll actually be able to secure all this stuff, but we probably should have invested more into our Air Force before the war actually broke out. But, oh well, not much we can do about it now. We could go to war with them. Deetland Falls, that's not good. Are we in the war too now? Germany joins Britain. Oh, it's because of that, that. Well, alright. But we have many of them. Many, 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 many of our ships repairing right now, so. Give them a little bit of time. I want to make sure we can actually invade properly first, perhaps. And then do it, so. But we did do uh, perfecting conventional warfare. The bulk of our armed forces base on. Uh, is infantry based, and this is even true for most, if not all, of their armed forces on the globe. Despite the younger members of the High Command demanding innovation, they've forgotten that the, those who served during the Great War know best the rifle of the future. Well, the soldiers used to as rifle, effectively no better than a system with a stick. We plan on maintaining a global hegemony. We must at least develop the equipment our soldiers use on a daily basis. And less firepower. Artillery shall serve as an important role in our armed forces and second only to our infantry. With enough darn artillery, the enemy will crumble in fear as shells come crashing down around them. Our ship is packed. That so sucks for them, but whatever. I should have had this ready to go earlier, but whatever. Uh, pod 2s. Waiting for our boys to show up. The yeah, German's going to get really defeated very quickly. But I want got to wait one more week. You guys will be fine. For the most part. And more casts. Sure. Just like the years before and during the Great War, British always held a professional discipline armed forces, capable of subduing any foe, large or otherwise. Got a cup of coffee too. To boot. And are we good to go? Yes, we are. Let's save just in case. It might go well, might not. Still got to post a couple motions here and there, but whatever. You are good to go. Go ahead. Oh, God dang it, we were so close. Well, if that's the case. Oh, you guys are still repairing. God dang it, just go do that. Go out, go out, go out. Do some combo rating. If this doesn't go well, well, I'll do some funky stuff too. Dedicated what we're systems. Come on. Come on. Just go ahead. We have 40%. That's more than good enough. Stop repairing. Oh my god. Stop freaking repairing. At least land. There you go. Okay, so that's good. Now we're going to shove everybody in here. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. That's okay. Do that. 
Now you guys do. You guys raid. You guys are gonna do this. London committee proposal. In the bleak hours that we must stand united and ready, spoke the British Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs, or British Minister of Foreign Affairs, trying to appeal to the nations uh, today. Under this situation, Europe has seemed quite desperate. France and Russia were already making quite the maneuvers on German soil, and if they had their way, then Britain would surely be next. Britain seems both desperate and sincere about the threat of the Franco-Russian alliance uh, poses to the globe, but the question would be: Would, they, would they be? Would we be better any better than under the British? Let's put the idea out there. China says, "Heck yeah!" No, oh, goddamn, that was not us, at least. Go, go, go. Tricky revolt. That's good. Time of research. Nice. We should have enough to support do anything there, but now. Nuclear accelerator. Nice. But we'll see. Well, it definitely landed, so that's good. They may destroy Germany, but we're going to get, hopefully, Paris. Landing and spreading out as much as we can, fast as we possibly can. Take Nantes, take this. Nice. Oh, and Germany's dead. Formalization of the League of Nations. The League of Nations has been formally established with the provisional seat of the organization in London. The Anglo-German alliance is now fully internationalized with granting the greater legitimacy. The London Proclamation, nice. Yes. Come on in as well. Now they're going to be focusing on us mostly. Uh-oh. What happened there? Oh, Nuremberg. The proclamation, eh? Well, alright. Now you may separate if you have to. Great, and... I got a brand. Oh. Come on, destroy them all. We sunk 10 combos already. 30,000. Not bad so far. Cover faster. I want you to hold. Teutonic Tigers. In daring move, the phase incredible odds, part of the German, German Imperial Air Force has crossed enemy held territory on the English Channel on limited fuel, landing near London. Following the orders of the government in exile, these young pilots seek to join the RAF and fight against the British, or, <coughs> the French menace in continental Europe. Help and allied pilots above Germany and France, their service could help us quite a bit during the conflict. These brave pots do great in RAF. Oh, wow. How are they winning so easily? They've got a crap ton of planes, which is something we've got to focus on more. And we've like no fuel switch, also. Doesn't contribute a lot to help us out. There we go. Yeah, just never have enough, never have enough planes. So, something we'll probably deal with in the future. But that's why I threw on anti-air here, so. Russia needs to be, I think, toned down a little bit. Or at least Germany needs to be buffed a little bit more, because it's insane how badly uh, kind of OP they kind of are combined. But what are you going to do about it? Uh, trade, we definitely need more fuel. Tejas? Sure. Refinish army, huh? Alright, well, you hold. Don't worry about attacking. Just hold. Oh, we're not the ones attacking. They are. You should be able to take out that tile. But, you know, we're going to be here for a while. 937, 37 rocketry, we could. So, that's way too ahead of time. 37, 37, 38, 37. Since we have a bonus, we'll also do that one. We definitely need more fuel. Radars would be nice. Synthetic refineries, of course, too. Um, 
Oh, we still have holes. How much have we lost? 79,000. It's not too bad for us so far. We'll do endless firepower. And what else? Oh, Wartime Powers Act. With the war ongoing, uh, the government shall push through the War Powers Act. A decree that should give the government more control on the populace until the war is over. This will allow the crush of the rabble which protests against war and allows to crack down some civil liberties for the good of the nation. New tactics for new age. With the flow of, every, of war always changing, so more, must our military tactics change. We must continuously evolve to any given situation and prepare for the unorthodox strategies if they arise and Britannia rules the lands. Just like years before and during the Great War, Britain shall always host professional disciplined armed forces, capable of subduing any foes, large or otherwise. Let me first capital ship fleets. Well, being being, well, what do we go with? Why do I go there? We went with fleet and being, so. And we're already done with the doctrine, so it doesn't even really matter. Uh, battleship models, space strike. Naval aircraft would be more useful. But it makes more sense for a reinforced capital fleet. Our navy is slow, already the strongest in the world and unbeatable. We don't need any of those new carriers. We need the good old ships with which aren't experimental new. We need our ships to be predictable and reliable, so this program would be invested in expanding our current fleet with the new versions of old ships and renovating and replacing some of them. Because right now we went with battlefield support with this one too. So we definitely want to go this way. Heavy fighters, reliability, dominate the skies. Um, we must not forget that our Air Force is meant to assist our armed forces. After all, there is no possible way to defeat our enemies with only aerial units. Because of this, Air Force must serve its role as a ground force assistant and not independently without high command's approval. We must remember that we are the most technologically advanced nation on Earth. And so are our plans. We've been, but we've been noticing it lately that the new cadets have been having some issues with the new models of aircraft. So we decided to expand and change the curriculum for then new Air Force cadets to ensure they can actually use their aircraft and thus be of use to the nation. And here we're at, everybody. It's now November 28th, 1939. I have grinded my way through the French. Uh, we've lost quite a few guys. The French are almost dead. Um... Spain? Well, we've broken into Spain. Russia's a big old pain in the butt, but, uh, this, here's where we're at. Uh, we're not doing great trying to take the rest of the French out real quick, but the main goal right now is to take out Spain, and we're doing okay with it. They're not doing very well, and good, thank God, but we're doing a lot of different things. We've got some comments to go through, like I said earlier. I wanted to say that earlier, but making some house calls. Uh, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, Rich Man, Poor Man, Beggar Man, Thief. Which one will Mr. Pollitt visit today? So, Parliament will vote on the issue, and if we have enough support, we will gain the benefits of this following decision. And public meetings monitored. Interesting. And semi independent press. This will harm the Worker Union Party unity, which is also not very good, but. Uh, I don't remember if I read this here, but we must remember that we're the most technologically advanced nation on Earth, and so are our planes. But we've been noticing lately that the new cadets have been having some issues with the new models of aircraft, so. We decided to expand and exchange the curriculum for, then, for the new Air Force cadets to ensure they can actually use aircraft and thus be of use to the nation. Hellfire from above. Then we won't know what hit him. We are a shadow in the night, a wave in the ocean, a tree in the jungle. With the advantage, we shall be victorious. Our fine pots shall practice with brought upping bombs and targets to make sure their aim is on point ready for war. Our efforts shall rival all and defeat all and bring hellfire from above, so to speak. Liberation Scandinavia. Scandinavia has been liberated by the uh, League forces. Now we can begin the process of returning control of these once occupied lands to their respective government and exiles. Day by day, the pact becomes weaker. Ooh. It moves the Swedish National Republic. Oh, wow, look at that. What happened? Well, so we have the League of Nations. Okay, interesting. So we, I guess we, we beat them. If that's the case, well, there's a resistance here. Raoul Salan. The United Kingdoms of Germany is back. Oh, but the Berlin administration is still kind of there hanging out. So we definitely want to beat up pretty much everyone else. You yeah, all to continue beating them up if you can. If we can destroy them while they're here, uh, I think it should destroy their armies. It could be wrong. Let me get more fuel anyways. Oh, what did I click on? Oops, my bad. Jupiter returns from exile. Liberation until death. Nice. So let them come on in. And uh, what do we have? Republic of the Netherlands, which is nice, under Alexander I, too. Very good, very good. Do not have to move. Let them all die. And dedicated scouting tactics. Oh, yes, we wanted that for more stuff to attack. The future of Europe, the French problem. Oh. That's weird. Okay. Uh, our greatest rival, France, has been defeated, and a corpse has still been laid out for all to bear witness to. Despite celebrating France's uh, defeat, the task of administering these occupied regions is an issue the British government must tackle. Already, many are suggesting border changes and whether a new sovereign state should be created from such. Pre war borders. Partially dismantled. Francia de Linda Est. Well. 
pre-war borders. Well, with this campaign, I don't mind having puppets, so Francie don't have to ask. There you go. Well, that didn't really do very much, and I did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, Loni's here. Dunkard Corridor. It's not bad. Um, yeah, that's weird. Okay. Brittany, led by Boucher. But whatever. I'll defeat Germany probably once again, but, uh, in all honesty, I'm not super concerned, since, uh, I want to take out Spain first, and focus on one front at a time, really. Honestly, just go for the VPs, if you can. Gibraltar would be a nice as well. These guys have some divisions on the... Oh, already have some divisions on the front line, so I'm not super concerned. Especially as we're flooding into Spain a whole bunch, and then we'll flood into Italy. And then we'll really try to destroy uh, Russia. Ah, there they go. So as you can see, we're doing, doing quite well. Oh, well, they have a lot of convoys around here. Um, our fleet's doing alright. They're not perfect, but we're definitely doing all right. And we have no fuel below us. Map fire is pretty good though overall. And synthetic refineries, build, build, above, above, build. So we've got uh, Let's see. Can you do a hoy for a thousand week Reich? Uh, USA power dictatorship videos? Maybe. So it says, can you do the old world blues? Floss still is purge steel, steel purge focus tree. I'd love to know how to do it. That's a good question. I'd love to know how to do that too. Maybe sometime. So it says, the silent first, first silent two seconds is enough for me to think about my life. That's right. Sometimes the beginning of my videos are somewhat silent, but you know, it is what it is. We should be okay. Oh, the orbit wars, there's not really much here to talk about still. Um, they support us generally. The Whigs generally support us. Uh, agroponics. Progressive Tories. So which we're fine with. We should still be able to pass everything. I mean, still have all this reformism to do. Uh, there you go. We'll do probably that with that in the next episode. Oh, wow. They're really flooding through here again, aren't they? It's all right. Get rid of Spain. Get rid of Spain. There we go. Spain's been defeated by elite forces, and now we must find a little collaborator to assist with the reconstruction of the Spanish nation. Day by day, the pact becomes weaker. That's right. Oh, it slips over. Francisco Franco. Hey, very nice. Very nice. All right, so you guys are all here now. I'll take out Italy next, and then really focus on these guys here. Nice. Very good, very good. Expert Delegator, we could, but we don't really, we don't really need that. In here, no. Level 5 is not bad. We're going to go with uh, overwhelming fire, because we can. Colin Murphy, nice. All right, so they join the war. We're flipping nations over to our side. The front in Germany's not looking great, but then again... We'll deal with them in a little bit. Let's go all the way over to here. Sure. Oh, I want you guys just to focus mainly on Italy. Let's go ahead. Advance to the upgrades. Very good. And can we do this one? Oh, we need nuclear bombs. Okay. Ah, do that one too. Oh, the Danish state is gone. Okay. Well. Yeah, come. Well, okay, America took out the Danes. Well, okay then. 1940. Happy 1940, everybody. And that stuff is all done. We're working on that already. Here, do that. And go in. Good. Lots of green. We like that a lot. We have any extra planes? Oh, yeah, we do. Well, some. There we go. Should be able to come through here pretty easily. These guys are pouring through here, but Russia probably is a crap. Oh my god, a second. Has probably not a ton of manpower. And they don't have a lot of stuff. Fall of Frankfurt, passing Queen Victoria. Oh boy, Queen Victoria, the long reigning monarch of the United Kingdom, has passed away her death. Well, which occurred earlier today. I sent shockwaves to the nation and around the world. Um, the Queen, who had now ruled for over 90 years, was beloved by her subjects and known for her commitment to the public service. Following her death, Prince Albert and her son and heir will stand on the throne of King Albert. The new king is well respected and has been preparing his role for his monarch for several years. Flags across the UK have been lowered to half staff and mourning for the late queen, and a period of national mourning has been declared. Tributes to Queen Victoria have poured in from around the world, with many leaders praising her long and dedicated service to her country. The coronation of King Albert is expected to take place in the coming weeks, with preparation already underway. The new king has promised to continue his mother's legacy for the service and dedication to the United Kingdom, and to work tirelessly to ensure the prosperity and happiness of his subjects. An uncertain future awaits. 
Hello, this guy. Now we're the first. No description. Not important. Improved anti air. There you go. Let's just finish off Italy first, and then once we get through that, because Germany's falling pretty much again. These guys, for some reason, just can't hold, and then we'll strike up north. Go, 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 go. Queen Victoria dead. Well, that sucks. Motion has passed. Nice. So they still support us for the most part. Um, we have 100% already. Wigs, I guess. More Hague Tories? Support from the progressive Tories will increase. Support from the Hague Tories will decrease. Well, it doesn't even matter. Because they don't matter. Uh, let's see. Tried and true methods. New tactics and doctrines might be nice and all, but the new ships and designs, but well, one must forget that the Navy consists of various types of other ships and a crew too, which all need to adapt and understand the new tactics which the whole Navy shall use. So this program will help provide those ships and the crews with the needed resources to fit in the modern sea, modern sea battles. Never fault during their missions. You can never learn enough, and those who decide to invest in another program to teach your lovely marines even more about the seven seas and the monstrous battles they'll be taken when the time comes. This time the program includes new textbooks and a new curriculum and a bit more expansive set of subjects to ready our marines for anything that might be thrown at them in any given future. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Crud. How much more of Italy do we have to take, god dang it? Thank you. That's literally the answer I wanted. I'll beat him all the way back to Russia. And... There you go. Go and use it. We should be fine overall. Especially once we get to our next destinations. I'll move a little bit further on the front, but that's alright. We just gotta move faster through here. King Midley. Well, who are they led by now? Ferdinand III. The War Crawl. Unstable Young Democracy. And a Treaty of Anzio. Makes sense. There we go. We like seeing green, don't we? That's good green. Development's looking pretty good. Literacy is at 0%, but oh well. Manpower, army, political power gain is not bad, but we don't really need that. Uh, railways, engineers, it wouldn't be bad either. Manpower, political power. Honestly, none of these really help the future of Spain. The victory of the Spanish Crusader states become clear to administrators that Spain suffered the last few decades of a war on a sovereign. Obviously, the Bourbon dynasty, which ruled before the Great War, is out of consideration, which naturally leads to obvious solutions. We can install a monarch from the British House of saxe coburg and Gotha, or we can install a monarch from the House of Habsburg. Both bring with them the natural uh, political inclination to their home country, with the Windsorite proposal citing the need for Spanish autonomism and the same models of Imperial Confederation. The Habsburg proposal is more conservative, arguing for a federative Spanish kingdom with limited autonomy for the country's minority regions. The natural historical implications of returning Spain to the bosom of Vienna is fairly obvious, of course. In regards to the decision, the League is a golden opportunity to capitalize on Spain's weariness to create a compliant nation and establish control of a critical instrument in rebuilding the European concert. Well, as much as I want to do this one, I'm going to go with this because we're radicals here. Maria the first. Ah, we're looking better already. I love it. Are we? Oh god, we're already over there. Holding all the way there. Holy crap. It's pretty far away. It's pretty freaking far away if I do say so myself. Go Autom Automax? Automax? I mean, that is a lot of divisions, but still. Man, yeah, but we kind of have green air. Kind of. Alright, that doesn't apply to us, but whatever. Convert these guys? No, that kind of sucks. There we go. Join them anyways, because you can. Try and true methods, huh? Sure. Let's 
defense, small airframes, cannons, cannons, your defense, huh? Which is pretty nice. Daily gains 13 and a half thousand, but we need so much, especially for the Navy. Until you go home. He did very well, though. Until you guys go home, too. Ernest, Ernest King, huh? Right now, they've lost a lot. 4.64 million, and that's the last one. Which after we take the strong, we make Germany once again. Of course, we're out of stuff ourselves, which sucks. Yeah, we're out of anti air and a crap ton of artillery. We need more quadrupods, too. Uh, planes would be good too. Oh, we're not even making any. Oh boy. Is there a reason for you? Oh, they're, they're research. Ah, go to that one, anyways. God, we need a lot of aluminum for that then. Um, that's the case. We'll come over here. We got more than enough air XP, anyways. Air to air, huh? That would have been nice to throw in. Non strategic materials use. Aluminum needs less. Production cost. You know, actually, let's use that. Um, instead of that one, that breaks. Getting there. Ah, good. That should help us out with our ledger, right? Uh, maybe. Hey, Russo Berlin administration. That should help us out with our ledger, right? Uh, not really. Beautiful. France. Oh, yeah, we'll take some stuff. Honestly, we should be fine with all this stuff, so. There you go. Imperial Confederation. Yeah, we're going to deal with a strongly reformist. I'll start pushing Europe, especially once the war's over, though. That's when I'll start pushing hard. Um, we're not at war with the Empire of Yugoslavia, which is fine. We just finished those guys off right there. They're at over a million, 8 million casualties so far. So, so far, it's pretty good. Never fall through in their mission. Um, uh, we want to be a reformist, so I'm proposing a new unified currency. The Federal Federation is overburdened with a multitude of different currencies, which has caused much fiscal latency regarding Imperial trade with the power and sterling, somewhat being the benchmark of this market mess. To do this and to create a more unified open commonwealth, a new currency should be implemented, so planning all before it, including the pound sterling, which would allow more competitive and fair markets all over the Federation. Strength and muscle and jungle work. With the acquisition of the French colonies of Indochina China after the triumph of the Great War, a new outpost for the Empire was born, however. Vietnam is an inhospitable land. The jungles created to hamper our attempts at colonial rule and the local populace seemed on the verge of rebellion. Only through our learned lessons in Malaya will we be able to hold on to this new outpost for the Empire. And what else? One last barrier to overcome. Britain is a traditional country. One forced to focus on class, society, and tradition. Losers to this are a huge amount of half -pop populace. Women. Girls who have not been born... Uh, oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, we got 35 artillery pieces. Girls who have not been born sons will have less rights than a man, less opportunities than a man, and less of a life than a man, while also being the ones who raise the next generation. To put wrong... To put right to wrong, we shall push through in Parliament. Oh, nice. Uh, radical rights for women, even if that's the more uh, traditional side of Britain. Total gender equality. Okay, whatever. Hey, we actually have a, a spot of fuel. Kind of nice, not gonna lie. Kind of nice. Hey, another automatic. Oh, do these guys actually convert? There you go, good luck. Anti air is nice. 
Rock artillery is nice. Regular artillery is still very, very, very nice. We're running out of things to build, which is not nice. Here, they're helping us out. You just do this anyways. I need more land. Cannons are nice. A lot of things are nice. Automax are very nice too. Defense. Defense. Goodbye. Oh wow, look how far we've already gotten. Holy smokes. Hey, they agree. Yay! And then a wartime national unity government. England expects every man to do his duty. Oh, we can't do this one. Crap. I'll believe this one. Seizing our opportunity. It's often decided that an Englishman's worst enemy is himself. It's often decided that the Queen's embodiment of the Englishman, so therefore it's only natural for us to remove him from his embodies all the traditional hostilities of the work true working class suffer against. With this war. Oh, I look at that. Occurring, it's now our chance to remove this aristocratic uh, financial black hole, which is the royal family. God save the Republic, more and more importantly, God save Pollock. Is it war? Oh, so we have to do this one now. United Republic. Ban the neo imperialist despotist and reactionary party. Uh, revolution is a home front. Nice. Nope, darn it. See what this war will make the world look like after this. Oh, yeah. Still have no fighters, that sucks. We're fine, we're just trying to go through Finland as fast as possible, huh? Raise it up too high, but yeah, why not? Why not? Tesla Tower. Nuclear reactors. Well, oh, there you go. You can build one. Took a while to build two. How close are they capitulating? Because if they're close, we won't go too far. Novo Novo Rossiya. Huh? What is so Polish? Proof carrier crew training, nice. Ferdinand the second. What happened to Ferdinand the third? Oh, that's a uh, that other nation. Okay, I thought that was us. Oof! And it succeeded. Good. Using that right now, so and home room for the West Indies. The West Indies are multiple islands with similar cultures and ethnicities, which are dominated by Anglo settlers, but rather those of Western West African heritage. With a developing shipping sector and large populations for its size, the West Indies could be formed into a new dominion for the Federation. By doing so, we shall alert all others in the Federation that we're still fair and willing to defer the decentralization while also not further antagonizing the West Indies themselves by keeping them under direct rule but more in line way of imperial governance in the form of a new dom crown dominion. In a shocking announcement to the Parliament, Prime Minister Mosley submitted a proposal for the abolition of the British monarchy and the declaration of a republic. Their proposal, clearly panned by the party the head leader, Mary Pollitt, was met with near instantaneous backlash. Before Mosley could even finish speaking, Parliament erupted into chaos. The WP members exchanged blows with their fellows before Mosley, seemingly egged on by Pollitt, ordered for local troops to intervene. A small contingent of British Home Guard, Lord of the Party, mobilized in the House of Commons and seized it after a shootout. Now, given the chance to finish, <clears throat> as the words not backed by gun barrels, Mosley nervously announced that the Parliament would be disbanded and replaced by a new British Workers' Men Council. The Council would be the foundation of a new British, United British Republic of the Common Man. Severing all ties to the monarchy and handing power to the people, Mosley's words, broadcast by telescreen across the nation, involved, invoked pain and panic instead of praise. Citizens began uh, frantically organizing a malicious free side with few reported fatalities when said opposing groups met. The riots broke out of the ration centers as the population tried hard to hoard as much as they could for the coming crisis. 
I said a civil war, however, meant mostly in politics coup and in a whimper. And once made aware of the situation, the home the British on command mobilized and assaulted the House of Commons, quickly killing and arresting the Home Guard in less than eight hours, the British Republic. But the WP proclaimed ended as Imperial Hardsuits and broke into Parliament. Mosley, abandoned by Paul and his hard Atlantic clique, was apprehended not long after having reportedly soiled himself during the fighting. High command has assumed provisional control over Parliament for this time being, opting to suspend it until the crisis is fully resolved. General J.F.C. Fuller has been appointed as head of the provisional administration, bound that democracy will be reinstated once every inch of this Union rise has been expunged, purged, and DB blasted from British soil. Hey, Albert. Well, troops deploy in London. For the first time in living memory, British troops fought through the streets of London, and dead of the night, the clique of British officers spurred on. By the economic crisis and parliamentary gridlock rose up and seized the apparatus of state. It soon became apparent that the coup had been, if not orchestrated, then at least supported by the current King Emperor Edward. As the new regime consolidates power, elements of the former parliament have vowed to resist the new regime with all available methods. Democracy dies of thunderous applause. Ah, the military takes control. Rule Britannia. This will add the reactionary party to the far right coalition. Emphasize the military and politics. The Fuller, Fuller Harris Constitution. Well, I didn't expect to go this direction. Um. Well, so if you try to coup, you're gonna lose. Go figure. Jewish exclusion. Holy crap. Um. Mobilize MPP radicals. Many MPP radicals are only loyal to the king and only join the MPP black shirts and the party to protect his values and rule over the lamb. Let us mobilize these men to help law and order while also infiltrating the populace to convince the public in our support. God save the king. Well, we're still going to go reformist, so no matter what, so. So, yeah. So much more of Russia do we really need? I don't know about a good way of the way there, but prepare a collaboration government? I mean, we might as well try at this point. Kitchener? Try it. This is kind of a grind trying to get through all these guys, man. We have enough manpower now, which is nice. It's not bad. We got it. Which doesn't help us that much. Oh, Russia sues for peace. The Russian giants come hurling to the ground by the might of our armies, now begging for its mercy. The main demands we plan on putting them for war is the direct transfer of the major Russian cities of St. Petersburg, Moscow, and Tsaritsyn. The rest of the nitty gritty details are still being worked out by the League officials. However, Russia knows darn well that Sam's and Empires is coming to an end. The bears finally brought low. Oh, look at that political power, lots of stability. Um, British mandate of Moscow, of Tsaritsyn, whoa. German mandate of Petrograd, British mandate of Moscow, oh my gosh. Oh, Germans get that. United German, United Kingdom of Germany annex Berlin administration. Well then, holy cow. Let's see what we got here. Even though we were almost cooed ourselves. Go figure. Control Constantinople. What the barnacles? Wow, this is a thick. They got Prussia too. Occupied France has just like Holstein. America has Denmark, and Danish national state is Danish national state. That's a freaking huge Germany. They even annexed Bohemia. My God. So now we're all on the same level, packed together. Even the League of Nations. The Ottoman Empire is back. The Caucasus. Oh, they're still puppets. You guys now let's survive this guy. You're led by Jusu Pao. <coughs> a Baltic right, government. We're still puppets. But we have the German mandate of Petrograd, led by Sparrow. The British mandate of Moscow. And the British mandate of Tsaritsyn. 
Oh, are we still at war with Norway? Why are we still at war with Norway? What the heck? And Portugal? Wait, which Portugal? Kingdom in ex in exile. What barnacles is that? Occupied France, huh? Oh, shh, Nikes. So I guess there's that we have to deal with. Um, the Baltics under occupation. The collapse of the Russian authority in the Baltic states left the region in disarray. The League of Nations continue to push into the Russian heartlands. It deemed necessary that the provisional reconstruction authority be established out of the former Baltic government. The Baltic International Reconstruction Authority will work alongside local and national leadership to bring the nation back to pre-war standard living in peace. Uh, the League Force will also begin the process of apprehending and prosecuting Russian officials involved in the Baltic government's atrocities already. Investigators are finding the bloody evidence of Russia's wartime domestic policies, the attempted Russification of the Baltics under the Russian government, and resulted in thousands that are displaced with a major chunk of civilian population suffering from famine conditions. Once the Baltic states have been brought back to a point of reasonable sustainability, the land will be dissolved in preparation for the referendums on maintaining the United Baltic Nation and open democratic elections. There's work to be done. And Poland as well. The collapse of the Russian authority in the Polish states has left the region in disarray. Look at this guy. Um, the League of Nations continue to push in the Russian heartlands, blah 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 blah. Former Polish government, Polish International Greek Restriction Authority. It's basically the same thing. Uh, Elite Force will begin the process of apprehending and prosecuting Russian officials involved in the Poland government's atrocities. Um, well, investigators are already finding bloody evidence of Russia's wartime domestic policies. The attempted Russification of the Polish people under the Russian government has ruined thousands that are displaced with a major chunk of the civilian population suffering from famine conditions. So, it's work to be done. And Ukraine as well, oh boy. So basically the same thing. Kirkpatrick, very, they're despotists, but they're very heavily red. And here comes Ukraine. That's a crap. A crash, it's a game. And Belarusia, too. Um, a lot of Jacobins. A lot of state socialists. That is a thick Ukraine. Emergency United Partisan Commission. That is. My god, you just took a huge bite out of these guys. A lot of Poland? Holy crud. And Transcaucasia, too. Look at this. They took a bite out of the Polish uh, 32. Matthew Ridgeway. And then you have these guys too. Vitter von Bach. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. But, we're going to do this one, we'll do this one, and then Jewish Exclusion Act? I mean, I guess. The Jews have slowly eroded themselves into the city of London. The once English diamond business and trading companies have been replaced by Jews who the military provide evidence that they've been channeling funds from Britain to the Jewish relatives, many of them fighting our imperial mandate in Palestine. The punishment is foul creatures of King shall pass the Jewish Exclusion Act, grew up on the Jewish population to gain jobs in Britain. So, I guess we've changed the leap. But in the meantime, we're probably going to go ahead and destroy Norway and the, and the Portuguese, but if you enjoyed the video, because, well, one more episode left, because we'll probably end up going to war with America, maybe. Wow. Imagine ha having a state named Kelly, um, led by Ned. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, maybe, maybe not. And I'll see you tomorrow, I'll see what we can do to see if we can make ourselves any more reformist, or maybe not. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!